Welcome to Hardcore Garage. Today we are going to wash this GT and I get my first experience with a foam gun and I have no idea what I'm doing but I'm going to film it and you can tell me all the stuff I did wrong, what I did right, things I should change. Let's go check it out. So far what I've done and again, I'm a beginner, so bear with me. This says one to five on the ratio, so I put one ounce of soap in there and five ounces of water. Now that doesn't look like very much there, so I, I and again, I don't know, but that does not look like enough to wash my entire vehicle. Uh, the setting is set for one to 128, so that basically means that it will run one ounce of this per gallon of water. So I can run six gallons of water um, with this six ounces of liquid is one or six gallons of water enough to foam my entire uh, GT. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you guys know and you're laughing at me right now <laughs> thinking he's never going to get enough or that's way too much. But we're about to find out. I also don't know if that is the correct tip or not. That is the small flat tip and I honestly don't even know where the other one is right now it may be in my little tray over there but that's the one I'm gonna try first I'm gonna look like a major newbie <laughs> doing this I see all kinds of people have these foam cannons and uh, I really wanted one and my detail guy really wanted me to get one. This doesn't feel like this is screwing into here very well. Probably gonna have issues right off the bat. My hose is probably a piece of crap and won't work. And I just... Yeah, that's probably not gonna work. That's just barely screwing in there. It doesn't look like it's going in straight. Yeah, it only goes in there like a, a turn and a half. It's not leaking. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rinse it first. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> this... Who knew washing a car could be so complicated? But I don't want to foam cannon with the big bugs and stuff that are on there or any dust that's on there and just let it sit. I think we should get that stuff off there first. So that's what I'm gonna do. Super cool seeing that uh, water beat up like that. I'll tell you that. Okay, so here's one of the other cool things. <laughs> if you remember my video, I struggled with this the first time because I didn't know what I was doing, and it's kind of complicated, really. <laughs> well, we are set on A. I don't know if you're supposed to shake this stuff. First timer. Let's uh, see what this does. Woo! That went right back in my face. Okay, so that part wasn't tight. <laughs> and that's not foam. That doesn't look like foam, guys. What am I doing wrong here? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Besides trying to dent my truck. Wow. Sure it's supposed to foam more than that, right? That's really nothing like I expected. Hmm, I don't know. I'm sure I'm probably doing something wrong. <laughs> So all I'm going to do with this first round, since I don't know if that was right or what, I'm just going to rinse it and see how good it looks. I 
am going to uh, pull it back in the garage and blow it off with my air compressor and we'll see how she looks. So I blew it off, went for a little ride. It doesn't look bad. Um, it's not as good as it could look. But So I decided to read the instructions. <laughs> Imagine that. Here's the little, if you can see the tip on there sticking out. That's what I had. I think that was a non-foaming tip. Here's the other tip that came with it. Me not knowing what's up. And it really doesn't show any pictures or anything like that. I need the pictures. Um, we're going to try this one and see if we get more foam. So check it out. There's hardly... I got to turn the water on first. There's just a little bit left in here. And I want to see if it's going to foam. And then maybe we'll start this whole process over. Um, I don't really want to shoot it on the truck unless it's going to foam. So let's just pull the trigger right here. I bet you I need more stuff in there now, huh? That's probably going to put out quite a bit more foam, maybe. It's still not foamy foam. It's thicker. Is that how it's supposed to do, or should it be more bubbly? <laughs> That's a pretty good foam though, right? I wouldn't be afraid to rub on that with something. <laughs> that sounds great, don't it? I'm at a loss of what to do, guys. All right, let's do this on the front. Get her soaked down and rub on it a little bit and see if I can't hook it up. All I've got here is just water, guys. <laughs> and I've only got two. microfiber towels that I'm going to use to wash. I guess the windshield, well, I don't want to do that really. I don't want no bugs off the windshield on here, do I? So, we'll just do this nice and easy. Pulling it down through here. I'm not trying to put a bunch of pressure on here or anything. And again, I'm sure other people do this differently. If there's something I can improve here, please tell me trying to minimize scratching. The truck doesn't have like a big filth or anything on it. I think I want to do the areas where there's bugs probably last. Right? <laughs> and I probably ought to be rinsing more than I am, I'm guessing. I'm going to use the wash mitt for the wheels so I don't get a bunch of grime on my rags. And so I'm going to dedicate that mitt to the wheels from now on. These rags will go directly into the washing machine. And I don't know if I'm going to reuse them or not. I know Mr. Day tonight says don't use them twice. <laughs> Keep from getting it on everything else. And then my mist wash mitt is just water. And the wheels were ceramic coated as well. They should be fairly easy to keep clean now. 
break dust will come off of them a lot easier. I take these off once or twice a year and clean really good on the back sides. I try to get in there as good as you can with your hand each time. And it's nice to have the backs of your wheels looking good. Break your arm getting in there, huh? You it off. And back. You don't need to watch every one of these, do you? Okay, well, that worked much better the second time. I still don't know if that was the correct amount of foam that we were supposed to get um, again leave your input let me know uh, Gion is the foam that I'm getting I think that you guys seen that on another video what I'm gonna try to do now is apply this wet coat again something that I've never done hope that I'm gonna do it right it says to do just small areas at a time start at the top and work your way down it says basically all you do is the top surfaces and, and the runoff will be enough to coat the sides don't really understand what it does or or what <laughs> what's the purpose i don't know if it helps to dry it or i really don't know but i know it says to not let that stuff dry spray it on rinse it off we're gonna do that hopefully we don't screw nothing up <laughs> and we'll see how it goes so i think what i'll do first is uh, I guess the roof. There we go. Alright, here goes nothing, guys. It just said to not let it dry. The ones where I was watching it, they pretty much rinsed it off immediately, so that's what we're going to do. And this is mostly going to run down the other side. guys ever used any of this stuff does it work what exactly does it do <laughs> let me know in the comments how about the tonneau cover <laughs> I think it might have also said not to do it in direct sunlight, which I am getting a little bit of direct sunlight back there in the rear corner, but uh, everything's staying wet for now. So as long as I hurry and do this, I think we're good. I'm trying to do it the best I can this first time. Without really knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> I did watch some YouTube videos. <laughs> Imagine that. But it never really explains chemically what this stuff, I mean, it says it bonds molecularly. Okay, um, but I don't understand. <laughs> Does it make it easier to dry? Does it make the paint shinier? Does it make it harder? That should do it. 
I don't know how much of that I used in one application there. <laughs> Probably too much. This is something else that I've never used a Geon silk dryer. I was always kind of amazed anyway, you know, from the time that I was a little kid that chamois, leather, a piece of leather didn't scratch your car. It felt so hard, you know, before you got it wet. And uh, this has two sides. I suppose you're supposed to use the soft side. I don't know if I'm supposed to get it wet first. <laughs> Well, the instructions didn't tell me anything, so I'm going to use the, it almost smells like stink bugs. <laughs> I'm going to use it just how I would a chamois. I probably should pull this forward. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to give you guys a close-up of how, oh, wow, how much water. That thing just sucks the water right up. I hope you can see that. It isn't like a traditional chamois and it doesn't feel like it's getting heavier and I'm sure it is. It glides so super easy across that paint. Here, I'm gonna zoom this in and bring you guys over here. Hopefully, there's not too much sun and you'll be able to see this. And I haven't run this thing out once yet. Whoosh, completely dry. Completely dry. And you can see it starting to change colors a little bit. I hope you can see that on that side. Yeah, this thing's pretty amazing. If you guys don't have one of these, I highly suggest you go get one. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> There's no chamois that'll do that. silk dryer okay so let's recap here we used the somebody tell me how to say this Gion foam with my foam cannon from the same place <laughs> they don't make it though um, and then we used the wet Gion wet coat if you can see that wet coat and to dry we used the silk dryer now, if I wanted to pick one of these things that I thought was the most awesome, it's that silk dryer. I'm surprised that I haven't discovered something like that before now. That thing is amazing. It, if, even if you don't care about anything other than just, you know, regular washing your car, get one of those things. It holds so much water. It pulls the water off so fast. Doesn't leave streaks or anything like that. It's super soft. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera around here and we'll just do a little walk around of whatever, I, you know, what all I did. I think... One of the things that you should do when washing your car is not think of it as just washing your car, but detailing your car. You want to try to get all the spots that normal people wouldn't. Yep, that's my phone ringing. Um, you always want to make sure that you get your door jams real nice and clean. You know, wash those. You want to wash all around the edges of your doors, the bottom edges of your doors. They should all look really, really nice. Um, you know, get the insides of your rims when you do it. If you can't, if you can't get everything, take them off once a year or something like that. You know, and make sure that you get the backsides of your rims clean. I missed this dry spot right there. Um, I dried all of the main painted area with the silk dryer, and then I come back with the microfiber and do the door jams and like the edges of up under here. You know, where it was letting water in the wheels, stuff like that. And I use several different rags while I'm doing it too. So. You're not getting any kind of dirt and scratching stuff. Uh, you want to make sure that you, you know, you clean all around in the edges of your hood and make sure you dry all that stuff too. And, you know, a, a nice detailed motor always looks really super good. And this motor is still clean thanks to Levi. He's my man for detailing. I just try to keep it nice until it gets to see him again. I am going to take the air compressor and blow all that water out of my radiator, or out of the grill there. You can take a rag and go through there and get some of it out, but I like using an air compressor. I see a little couple little spots of water here and there that I'll, I'll catch here after a minute.
but overall it turned out great I mean look at that reflection that just legit looks like you're looking up at the trees <laughs> yep well there you have it guys I showed you as much as I could for being an absolute beginner with a foam gun you make your decision on whether or not you think it's worth it um, I really don't have a bunch wrapped up and I think it was just a little over a hundred bucks in all the, the items that I bought to use to wash the truck. I don't have any bath, I think is maybe what they call it, which is actually, you know, soap suds to, and I don't know if I need it. I mean, he never told me to get that. I, I didn't see any issues. I guess when I go back to see him or he comes out to, to ceramic coat the tonneau there, I'll ask him if I really need to have that or if the way I'm doing it with the wet microfiber is okay. We'll see. But you guys, take it easy. Keep on trucking. Subscribe, like, comment, share these videos. I love you guys.